Hi, so today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be a DIY video on how to make a money lay. Okay, so what we're going to be needing are some dollar bills, ribbon, a ruler, scissors, flowers, beads, a paper clip, and tape. So here's the dollar bill and I'm going to be showing you how I fold this dollar bill so that we can put it together and make a lay. So you see that line on the back of the dollar bill? I'm going to be using that as a guide and I'm just going to fold this accordion style until I get to the other end. got to the end and I'm just going to fold this and I'm just going to open it up just to show you how it's supposed to look but we're really just going to leave it folded and we're going to go ahead and fold it in half and then we're just going to leave it like that and finish all the rest of our bills. So here are all of my bills folded up and we're going to go ahead and get started on making the actual lay now. So now what you're going to be needing are your ruler, your ribbon, and your scissors. I'm going to go ahead and use this ruler and measure out 12 feet of ribbon. And cut the ribbon. So now I gathered my two ends and I'm going to go ahead and get to the center on the other end there's my center and now I'm gonna go ahead and tie a knot on that end so that I have a starting place for my leg so now I'm gonna go ahead and cut that little loop that I had on my end I'm gonna get a base or something to tie it around I have my beads, I have my lei, and I have my dollar bills. I'm going to go ahead and cut this lei and take it apart because I just really want to use the flowers. So I'm going to take my paper clip and I just straightened it out and bent one end into like a little loop on the end. We're just going to use this as a threader. So I'm going to go ahead and put my ribbon through that loop. And I'm going to go ahead and grab a bead and thread that through. go ahead and grab my dollar bill and tie a knot where the folded part is in the center. Put another bead on. And I'm also going to be threading on two flowers. I'm going to go ahead and put another bead on and I'm going to go ahead and tie another dollar bill onto there. And this is just a close-up of what the lay is going to be looking like and what I've done so far and you're just going to go ahead and repeat the pattern. Now that I did tie my knot and I have it finished pretty much, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to tape them. 
So you're going to use your tape at this point and we're just going to tape the two ends together to make it into a circular shape. So I am going to go ahead and tape this and if you do need to use more than you know just the two panels right there you can bunch together more if you need to. So that works perfectly fine. I'm going to flip this over and do the same on this other side and tape that together. taped all of the dollar bills we're gonna go ahead and tie a knot at the end just to create that lay shape and this is the final product so this lay is about 46 inches in length I used 35 one dollar bills I used one five dollar bill and one ten dollar bill the lay was getting pretty long so I stopped at 35 one dollar bills and just added the five dollar bill and the ten dollar bill and it does total to a fifty dollar lay so this lay is pretty simple to put together, but it is time consuming, but then again, it is a great graduation gift or any kind of gift for any celebration. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for new videos. Anyway, I hope you're having an amazing day and I will see you next time. Bye!